Happy Friday. We made it to another day. We made it through the week. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Faye. I am the founder of Sisterhood Formed by Faith, where we support, empower, and motivate each other through our faith in God. You can join us in doing so by going on Facebook, searching Sisterhood Formed by Faith. We will be so blessed to have you. If you are new here, I want to thank God for you. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you do not miss when God released me to give another word. Also, if you are already a part of our YouTube family, baby, you know that I love you and I'm so grateful for you. And y'all know, it, I feel that it is really an honor, child. It is an honor that God sees fit to allow his children, come on now, his beloved, his most precious creation, come on somebody, to come across my channel and get a word from him on today okay and every other day moving forward because you are subscribed now and you are a part of the fam anyway y'all i feel so good child it seems as though i'm running off a couple hours of sleep and i've been up since 5 45 your girl is dedicated dedicated disciplined discipline discipline is the word for february if you follow my vlogging channel you already know what we on okay Anywho, cha. So challenge yourself, set your mind on your goals and crush them. And this just I wasn't planning on saying this, child, but it ties into today's word. Um, yeah, so first we're gonna to go to Colossians. I hope I pronounce it right, child. Colossians chapter three. Verse 2 tells us to set our mind on things above. Now, the revelation that God gave me, child, completely blew my mind, especially in this season of my life. Set your mind on things above. Come on now. So when we think about above, come on now. Of course, heaven. Come on now. Godly things. Come on, somebody. But to set your mind on things above is to set your mind, come on now, on higher things. Come on now on forward things come on somebody god's thoughts are not our thoughts neither are our ways his ways honey you know why because he thinks on a higher level come on now his ways is way higher come on now then some of us be down here doing okay all of us nobody's exempt okay the way you judge other people is judge the same way you gonna be judged come on now that's in the Bible, okay? Don't be judging people. Don't be judging me how I am. Take me as I am. I had nothing at all. <laughs> Y'all, I feel so good. I hope you feel good as well. It's Friday, child. It's just another day. But set your mind. Let, let's get serious. Because y'all know I'm getting sleepy. Once you leave the gym, if you know, then you know. Your body, like, you just get sleepy and I get playful, child. That's just my thing. Um, y'all gotta excuse me. I was really up in there working. Anyways, y'all, set your mind on things above. Set your mind on your goals. Come on now, set your mind on basically your goals. What you have plans, whether it be short-term or long-term goals. Set your mind on that. Come on now, whether it is um like working out, whether um okay i want to spend 15 minutes of quality time with god a day set your mind on that set your mind on that and be disciplined no matter what comes up you know you know without a doubt that you have to do that you have to complete it and now pray on it and everything and anything outside of that is just going to have to fit around or into that amen and you didn't pray on it come on now especially with spending quality time with god if you know you haven't been, you can't never spend too much quality time with God. Anything outside of that could be a distraction, could be a trick of the enemy. If you're not able to at least, come on somebody, at least get your quality time in with God. Let that be a start for February, okay? And then implement your own goals and stuff from there. Because how are you going to know 
what God has for you or where God will have you be doing or who he will have you be doing with this season unless you spend that intimate quality time with him and set your mind on it. Come on now, a breakdown, um, an overview to setting your mind on things. I don't know what word, I'm. you know how you're thinking the word. I don't know what word I'm trying to say, but I don't want to get distraction, amen, distracted, amen. But when you set your mind on something, it influences it influences you. So if you setting your mind on going to the gym, how many know you're going to be sitting there on your phone, scrolling, looking at weight loss stuff, child following this person. It just becomes like it occupies your brain cells. Come on now. If you are trying to build a relationship with God, you're going to be watching these prophetic messages, child. You're going to be in your word after you receive the word. How many of y'all go back, go to the description and really dive into the confirmation or dive into the text, um, the scripture reference, whatever you want to call it, and get your revelation from God, whether it be the same or whether God tries, not tries, or whether God shows you something while you're reading it. Come on now. That's a part of being disciplined. That's a part of setting your mind on something. Not only am I getting the word, come on now. I have to take this word back to God. I don't care who's giving you the word. Yes, it resonates with your spirit. Yes, it feels good. Yes, it's a confirmation of what God has been telling you, but you can never be too sure. Okay, God, let me go and read this particular text for myself and see what I get out of it. And maybe God will give you a way on how you can teach it and explain it to someone else. Hey man, this video ain't gonna be long. And uh, y'all know how I am on my videos. If you don't, if you new here, baby, come on now. We are taking each other as we are, okay? We we get on here real raw and uncut and unedited, okay? And if it's for you, come on now. You will be subscribing, amen? Because if you real, real, no real, okay? My sheep know my voice, okay? Oh, child. I'm really drinking my water today, baby. Um, so the second text that God gave me was Matthew chapter six, verse 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Ooh, I love that. Cause it just really ties into setting your mind. Come on now, where your energy is. Come on now, we think about treasure. Woo! Break it down, Holy Spirit. Break it down, God. Give me the words, God, so that your people can hear all of you and to see none of me and none of my laughter and my shenanigans, God, but that this word really, really reaches them right where they are in a current circumstances and situation. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Matthew chapter 6, verse 21, child. It'll be in the description box. It's always in the description box, but it says, that where your treasure is, come on now, that is where your heart will be. Come on now, whatever you set in your mind on, whatever you put in your energy, your time, your money, come on now. That's where your heart is going to be at. So in this month, I want you to be intentional about what you are investing your time into, what you are investing your money into, what you are investing your energy into, child, what you are setting as goals. Come on now. I want you to be intentional about that. And then I want you to be disciplined. I want you to be disciplined. I want you to be disciplined this month. Amen. I want you to just be disciplined. I mean, I know we need our rest and, and of course get your rest, but some of us, baby, we've been resting. Glory to God. And I'm going to just leave that right there. But this month is the month for you to be disciplined. This is the month you don't want to miss no blessing that God has for you. You don't want to miss not an opportunity to crush your goals, come on now, to be in your purpose, to do what it is that God will have you to do. You do not want to miss it. Sometimes our mind will feel tired. Come on now, because what we putting our energy into, what we putting our time into, we stressing and we worrying about the wrong things. God is like, I need you to be so disciplined that if it's not aligned with your purpose, come on now, for this month, 
I don't, I want you to think further, but some of us need to start thinking on a basic level. Basic for us is higher. Come on now. And for each of us, it's going to be like different areas where we basic, beginner. I don't even want to call it basic, beginner level. Some of us need to be beginner, beginner level. Can we just get some short-term goals in place and actually crush them? Some of us, we always setting goals. Come on now. It's always something that we want to do. Come on now. But how many of us have not been disciplined this is the second month you know how many goals i set for the new year not even just the new year just for january in general child and, and didn't reach them and whose fault is that it's not god's fault because faith without work is like a dead body come on now if you don't put the work in how you gonna see the results come on now god is like i'm doing my part i'm waking you up every day that ought to be enough. Now, it might be your part to say, Lord, I need strength. Come on now. And that's not God don't know that you need strength. God wants you to acknowledge. Come on now. Who your help come from? Look to the hills, baby. Where my help come from? I need you to be disciplined this month. I need you to know that you're not doing it by yourself. Don't look at all the ways that you can fail and, and do this and do that. You got to set your mind on things above. We got to stop thinking so negative, so dark, so down. Come on now. You got to think up. Come on now. It's only up from here, here, baby. You got to level up. Come on now. You got to get on a level. Come on now. That's almost close. Come on now to where Jesus was at. Because he said we do greater works. Come on now. Than he did. Come on now. So when you see Jesus. Come on now. And all the great things he did. Come on now. He told us baby. And you do greater works. Come on now. Because I'm sitting right next to the father now baby. And he who starts to work in you baby. He won't finish. Come on now. Till Jesus Christ come back and get you. Hallelujah. So you need to be setting your mind. We can think about all the negative things that can happen, all the things that go wrong. Child, ooh, I spilled my protein shake. I must don't need to be going to the gym. Baby, the devil is a lie. I got another protein shake at home. The Lord must want me to drink it afterwards. <laughs> Come on, somebody. And my trainer said that. She said, you could drink the protein shake afterwards. You ain't got that before, child. You got your water. Stay hydrated. Glory to God. Child, I ain't even meant to go there with y'all. Anyway, because I feel a preach. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. But the Holy Spirit's like, contain yourself. Contain. Contain it. But discipline. And I need you to win, okay? Because if you win, I win. If I can see, like, she did it. Come on now. He did it. Come on now. You never know who you're going to motivate. Come on now. To be like, you know what? If they did it, I can do it too. Glory be to God. So I want you to marinate on those scriptures right there. And I want you to think positive. I want you to know that you can do all things through Christ, which strengthens you. Okay. The only way you can fail is if you don't try. <laughs> I said it. The only reason why you're going to fail is because you're not trying. You're not even applying yourself. You haven't even started. You just thinking about how it's going to turn out, baby. You don't know how it's going to turn out. Glory to God. God only give you pieces, boo. You got to walk this thing out to see this thing. Come on now to see this thing fully. Come on now. I got a couple things that's popping up in my head. Like if I hadn't, if I hadn't started, boo, come on now, where would I be? Anyway, I want to uh, pray with you a prayer of covering. Um, so, Father God, we just thank you, God, that we are able to submit our request unto you, oh God. Thank you for each and every person that comes across this video, oh God. And, um, and most importantly, God, thank you for the people who are going to come across this video and use these scriptures and these nuggets and apply them to their life, oh God. And I ask that you give them strength, God, that you give them endurance, oh God, that you send them help, oh God, that you show them that you will never leave them nor forsake them, oh God. And when nobody else is rude, and for them glory to God that you are right there cheering us own God and, and that alone we thank you for being our cheerleader for being our father come on now for being a fan of us God if God be for us who could be against us God all we need God all we need is your yes oh God and we are asking for a yes this season God yes to your will we are giving you a yes God and we are asking to hear yeses and approved God based on the work that we've been putting in based on our discipline God based on our structures oh god based on what we've been setting our minds on god we are in expectancies for approvals oh god for yeses oh god because you 
have already approved us before we was formed in our mother's womb, God. What we are walking into, oh God, you have already given us a yes, oh God. You was just waiting on us to give you our yes, oh God. And on this video on today, God, we give you our yes to your will, oh God. Yes to your perfect will in our lives, oh God. Yes to our purposes, oh God. Yes, we can do it, oh God. Yes, we know that we can do all things through Christ which strengthens us, oh God. Yes, we know, oh God, that we can stand tall in this world, oh God, and not conform, oh God, because greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world, oh God. And I ask that your people, God, that they hear all of you and see none of me, oh God, and that this word be exactly what they needed on today, oh God, to push themselves to discipline, oh God. And we just thank you and we magnify your name, Father, because you are worthy, because you are gracious, oh God. You are everything that we need, God, not just in this season, but in every season, even when the season doesn't change, God, as long as you don't change, oh God, because you are not a man that you should lie, God, neither are you the son of man that you should repent, and some of us, God, we know that we need to repent, oh God, but your grace has us covered, so we just thank you for your grace, oh God, and if it's anything, oh glory to God, if it's anything that we done willingly and unwillingly, Father, we break it right now in the name of Jesus, if it's not of you, oh God, any cover that we have with the enemy, oh God, we ask that you break it right now, Father. Any plots and twists and plans of the enemy, oh God, that will come against our minds, oh God, that will come against our goals, that will come against our purposes, oh God, that will come against our marriages and our kids, oh God, and our bills and our finances, oh God, in our houses and our new cars, oh God. We rebuke the plots and plans of the enemy, oh God, and we send it back to the pits of hell where it belongs, oh God, because your will, your your will shall prevail, O oh God, and it shall come to pass. And we believe that wholeheartedly, O oh God. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. I love y'all, child. I wasn't even planning on um, praying. But the Holy Spirit, child, he intercedes for us. And that's enough for me, child. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed and prosperous weekend. And I will see y'all on Monday. But as always, you can visit the description box. You can contact me on Saturday and Sundays via social media. It's other ways, um, child, it's other ways for us to stay connected in there. Make sure y'all follow my other YouTube channel, Keep It Up With Faye, which is also in the description box. Don't forget, there is a special saying in there. If you would like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, because he already accepts you, child. Don't worry about the addiction. Come on now, somebody. Don't worry about how you're looking. Don't worry about how you was talking. Don't worry about what you was doing yesterday. He said, I accept you, and I approve you, and you only been through what you've been through. Come on now, so my glory can flow through you. I feel that for somebody, baby. You better set your mind. Set your mind on things above and not on this earthly thing, baby. This is just a resting spot. I feel like my granny, baby. This is just a resting stop. Do you hear me? I got to get myself together because I got some place to go. And I'm praying when I get there. I see everyone I know. I want to go to heaven. Do you want to go to heaven? Hey, y'all know how I get on here acting fool, child. I love y'all, but remember, God loves you more. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all on Monday.